Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we are looking at the farms plugin. Now this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create these automated farms which have a little minion that will do them farming for you. So I've got a couple set up here. As you can see this one is a carrot farm and then this one is a wheat farm. Now I've set it up so that once this is fully grown the minion will harvest it and then pop it in this chest over here. Same thing's going to happen for this farm he is going to put the items that he gets in this chest here and then once that has happened you can obviously grab the seeds and then replant them and then the same thing will happen again and it makes farming a lot easier as as soon as something's fully grown and once he gets around to it he is going to harvest it and then it goes back in the chest and the cycle continues same thing should happen over here once all of these get fully grown with bone meal there we go he has harvested them and then we've got loads of different carrots in there that we could then uh, replant. So that's kind of how it works and then if you were to click the minion you will see there are some options in there. So the first thing we're going to go through is the commands. So if we do forward slash farms you can see these are the commands. If I do farms GUI this will list all the ones I've created so you can see all three were created by myself. It gives the coordinates and it's also going to show the type. Now by default the type is wheat. Um, but once you actually create it, you can change it. So the first one, the first thing I'm going to do is actually remove one of them. Uh, this is the one that I built over there. You can't actually see it, but I've deleted it. If we want to create one of our own, we can actually buy one. So if we do farms buy, this will give us a farm item. So what we need to do is literally just right click it somewhere. Make sure there's plenty of space. Um, otherwise, it can get a bit messed up. So I'm going to right click it here. And as you can see, um, there was a couple of bits of grass here that probably shouldn't have been here. Anyway, this is what it looks like when you first create it. And if we right click the minion, we can see there are some different levels of farming to make it more efficient. If you try and click level two, for example, it will say you haven't unlocked that yet. Um, so that is something to improve your farm with. And then the type. So this is how you change the type. So by default it's wheat, but we could put a potato in there and then hit escape and suddenly everything is going to change to potatoes. So as you can see, there is no chest surrounding this. You can add that later, but if you don't want to add the chest, you can right click the minion and hit storage and that will give you all the items that they have harvested. There is a way to set up the chest. So if you just pop one down nearby and then go back into the minion and click the hopper symbol, this will se select it as a collector. So now you just need to right click the chest you want and then everything that they harvest will go in that chest. That is how you would do that. If we have a look, there we go. We've got 16 potatoes in now. And you can see this was actually the farm that I removed. There's a few other commands. You can also do farms list to bring this back up. And then I think it was this one that we want to delete. Um, that's good. You can do farms reload if you want to reload the plugin and you can do delete all if you actually want to delete every single farm um, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. So that is how the plugin works as you can see it's very straightforward for players to set up and it makes farming a lot easier um, and then eventually you can increase your level and improve the farm as well. So here we are in the SMP control panel and as you can see there are four YML files. The main one we want to look at is the config.yml. So in here there's a few things. We've got vault so that is enabled which means the blocks and drops cost $10 or whatever your currency is. Um, so when I bought it it cost 10. Obviously you could change that or just disable it altogether. And then if you want to level up that will cost 100. And then if you want to get to level five that will be 500. Do you want to enable world guards so it protects people from using it in spawn for example? And then here are the different items by default that you have. Obviously you could add more or take away these if you didn't want a certain one. Um, but those are the ones you have by default. And then here are the different levels. So you can go from level 1 to level 5 and that makes it better. Um, and then how long it takes for it to grow and collect in seconds. And then we've also got the messages YML. This is everything that's going to pop up in chat. You don't really need to edit that at all. Then we've got the GUI. So this is just what it's going to look like in the GUI. So the uh, item and then what it looks like. Don't really need to edit that. That looks nice. And then the data, this is where it's all going to get saved. So you shouldn't really touch that either. Here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.18. It was actually released yesterday, so it's a very, very new plugin. Um, hopefully there'll be more documentation uploaded soon, uh, but at the moment there's just a couple of pictures. Um, but yeah, 
really cool plugin but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time Thank you.